What's up, everyone? We are sitting down with Sunny Jane from Sun Genomics. Hi, Alan. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm excited to talk about the microbiome. Yeah, let's do it. So um, maybe to first understand it, let's go through a breakdown of exactly how the DNA works with the RNA, that works with the proteins, and how exactly that works within the body. And we have a cool graphic to show, uh, right. yeah, to, to teach us about this. Well, there's something called the, the central dogma of life. So basically, our, our bodies are made from a blueprint, and that blueprint is called DNA. And it's sort of the foundation. And from the DNA, we begin to express things called RNA. It's an expression of that DNA building block. And from RNA, you can actually create amino acids and proteins. And proteins are put together to create some of the cells and tissues and organs of our body. So this is really the, the foundation and the central dogma of life. Yeah, and it's called like the central dogma. I find that to be so interesting. Um, like you said, it's kind of the way that um, the building blocks of life get synthesized. That's right, and so everything has a, a code to it, if you will, within our bodies. And that code begins with the DNA, which is one of the most stable components uh, inside our bodies. I mean, you can get DNA extracted from ancient mummies even today. Uh, and RNA then becomes expressed, a little bit less stable and also has lots of variability and it's a lot more challenging to understand um, that expression. Uh, and then there's the protein level. Uh, and the proteins begin to degrade over time and, and, and have a denaturization associated with them. So one of the, the good ways or the simplest ways to understand life is to go to the most stable component at the DNA level. Yeah. And like you said, DNA gets denatured way last. And like we have this, similar to exactly what you were just saying, we have a little like breakdown graphic here to, to understand it, how the build up, the synthesis of life uh, uh, actually ends up occurring. And then how is this applicable to um, the breakdown of like the GI tract? Yeah, so our, our bodies are now made of organs, tissues, and the GI tract is responsible for digestion which is what I want to talk to you about today, and it's related to the microbiome as well. So the first thing we do when we eat... We got a good graphic for this as well. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's take a look. Um, so the first thing we do when we eat is, uh, is begin to chew on that food or whatever we're, we're digesting, and that's the first exposure to enzymes that are going to break down food, and food that will eventually be a source for nutrition for our bodies. So we'll go through an uh, oral cavity and then through our esophagus. So the food will travel down through the esophagus. It's been broken down a little bit, and that's going to make it easier for that absorption. But then it hits the stomach, and that's where the real churning occurs. And in the stomach, there's going to be a release of acids and things to really break down and stretch out any components of the, the material that's in there so that you can, you can open it up and, and get the benefit of amino acids, vitamins, et cetera, that, that you're eating. Ron, you want to throw it up and we'll, we'll walk us through as well at the same time. Um, so yeah, so we went from the, um, uh, adding our saliva um, in order to, like, break, to add enzymes, the digestive enzymes, and then down the esophagus, and as a bolus is swallowed, goes down the esophagus into the stomach. And then that's where you were describing all of the different acids that come in to help break down the food, um, bile. Um, and, then, and then at that point, I, I used to always think that um, the, you would get the nutrients from there. But no, the nutrients, you absorb the nutrients through the small intestine, right? Yeah, this is all the, the, your mouth, your teeth, the enzyme, it's all a setup for your intestines, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's all the preparation that's needed so that uh, by the time it crosses through the stomach and, and into uh, the duodenum, the small intestines, uh, that's where the food is now ready to uh, um, uh, be absorbed into your bloodstream and you can actually get the nutrition from it. And that's just through the walls as it goes. So it's, so it's now this like bile broken down and totally uh, broken down by surface area as well and now it's sliding through the small intestine and it's absorbing nutrients as it goes through the small intestine walls as it's moving along. Yeah, and there's a lot of interesting mechanics that happen along that way. And one of the first things is, is bile and salts uh, also combining with the food to help break it down even further. 
But another thing that's happened uh, in the last, well, I guess another thing that we're now beginning to understand in the last five or six years is just how much of that breakdown is attributed to our microbiomes or microbes that are actually living inside the small intestine. There are, there are trillions of microbes living inside of the small intestine. And in our next video, we're going to talk about this larger breakdown of the gut microbiome. This is a pretty good, um, pretty good way for us to, to start understanding it. So, Perfect. so that's good. A little bit of a breakdown of exactly how uh, the body's key parts work, as well as a little bit of a breakdown of the GI tract. Uh, catch us on another one of these explanation videos with Sun Genomics soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks.